Hey there, it's CJ Willett and I'm cracking a pack. Today is pack number six of my Magic the Gathering Adventures in the Forgotten Realms Dungeons and Dragons bundle. The focus of the video is what is your pick? As I crack the pack, I will discuss which card would be my pack one, pick one. My viewpoint will be from a very casual Magic the Gathering player perspective. Let's get to cracking pack number six. Thieves tools, an equipment that gives you a treasure token when it enters the battlefield, also gives you a sneaky ability to get your smaller attackers through for damage. Circle of the Moon Druid, it's a vanilla 4-2 bear on your turn, and on your opponent's turn, it's a vanilla 2-4 human elf druid. Dragon's Fire, one of the better creature removal cards in the set. If you have a dragon on the battlefield or one in your hand, it can deal a little bit more damage. Clever Conjurer. It's useful in a defensive blue deck. You can get one of your creatures in attacking and then use Clever Conjurer to give it pseudo vigilance and be a blocker on your opponent's turn. Dwarfhold Champion. If it's equipped, you have a two mana 3-3. Three, three. You hear something on watch. Most often you're going to use it for its second ability as a creature kill spell. Goblin Javelinier, perfect in a low to the ground aggressive red deck. Mimic, it's a useful artifact to include in your deck if you're splashing a third color. And in a pinch it can give you a 3-3 creature. Never Winter Dryad, useful green card if you're splashing a third color. Displacer Beast. When it enters the battlefield, it triggers venturing into the dungeon. When you have enough mana, you can bounce it back to your hand and replay it and continue venturing into the dungeon. Monk of the Open Hand. This plays well in a deck where you're playing multiple spells per turn. A creature that can grow out of control unless your opponent can deal with it. Chaos Channeler. Fits well into a blue-red deck that's rolling d20s. Whenever it attacks and you roll a d20, you have three different outcomes. Either you're going to exile the top card, or the top two cards, or if you're really lucky, the top three cards, and you might be able to play them during your current turn. Okay, well we get a great rare or a mythic rare. Vorpal Sword. It's an artifact equipment. It's pretty cool in that it gives your creature plus two, plus zero, and death touch. And if you get a lot of mana, if your equipped creature gets through and deals combat damage to your opponent, they lose the game. Boots of Speed Foil. I really like this card in an aggressive red deck. It's cheap to play, cheap to equip. A Mountain. And a 2-2 Green Wolf token creature. Okay, my pack one, pick one is going to be Vorpal Sword. I'm a sucker for alternate win effects. I see this card fitting really well into a blue-black deck. Both of those colors have the ability to remove creatures from combat, whether you bounce them in blue or you kill them in black. Both also have evasion spells that make your creature so that it can't be blocked. By taking this pack one, pick one, you'll focus on a defensive deck that gets you into the late game so you'll have the eight mana to pay when this creature gets through. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, take some time to tell me in the comment section what was your favorite card. Until next time, I'm back to crack pack number seven for my Magic the Gathering Adventures in the Forgotten Realms Dungeons and Dragons bundle in what is your pick.